Hi and welcome to another video where today I will be be playing uh, RimWorld Naked Brutality with uh, Randy Random and losing is fun. To begin with, I went and chose a place to uh, land which was near a friendly tr um, tribe or a tribe that was uh, neutral so I could trade with them later. After that was the character Sir Lexley. I needed to uh, to uh, choose a decent uh, colonist so that I would have a good time uh, later on, which I decided on this one after randomizing a bit. When I landed, the first thing I did was chop down some some trees and claim a nearby steel structure that I will use uh, for my base. I also did a schedule so my colonist wouldn't uh, go insane. Whilst my colonist was chopping down, down trees with their quite good plant skill, I started to uh, sketch out a, a base with, with the steel ruins which will become my base. When night fell, my colonist w was quite hungry, so I had them go and collect some some berries. And whilst my colonist was, was doing that, a few visitors showed up. I didn't have anything to trade, so I just went and continued on, on my, my base. I also knew that berries weren't a long-term solution, so, so I put down a uh, rice field. I also chose to to pre-select my uh, my my research for for later. After that, I d I decided to get some some tables down so I could start to to research and butcher some animals for some food that I would need t um, in order to survive. Which after getting some steel, my my colonist quickly crafted. After I started to uh, research, a a wild guinea pig uh, self-tamed, and since I was in need of some food, I decided to to kill it. I also saw, after a while, a colonist from a neighbouring fa um, faction that had crash landed but I mistook her for for being factionless so I started to beat her up and angered um, the neighbouring tribe. I decided to get a fridge because I needed to preserve food so I, so I decided to make a wood fired gen generator to power some coolers. I made my walk-in fridge quite small, mainly because I wasn't expecting to get much food early on. Whilst I was getting some spare steel, an event triggered and a mad mare spawned in and attacked my, my colonist, and since I didn't have any weapons, the mare downed her. After a while of anxiously waiting, seeing um, if I was going going to lose, my colonist managed to 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 get up and f and finish the mad mare. Since uh, I already had a decent supply of food, I decided to, to start to grow some cotton. So my colonist uh, doesn't die from, from hypothermia when, when winter comes, I decided to uh, make a, a tailor bench. I also then decided to, to, to queue up some, some orders for clothing for, for the winter. After preparing for the winter, I, d I decided to expand my, my base a bit. I was thinking of 
of moving uh, my my colonist's bed into uh, this room and putting down a chess table for a recreation. I also decided that I needed a storage room, as I didn't really have one yet, and I figured that, uh, that I would need one ev um, eventually, so I may as well be um, built now. Anyway, that's the end of this video, so if you enjoyed, feel free to press that, that like button and subscribe button.